Hello, my name is Lee and I'm with ET Load. If you're finding this video, you may be having issues with cache reconciliation in Odoo. So the purpose of this video is to briefly cover some of that process as well as a workaround if you are like me, a small business or sole proprietor, and you aren't trying to reconcile your cache journal the way that Odoo would like you to. Um, so specifically, what may have happened is you've gone ahead and registered a cash payment in Odoo. However, despite the fact that you might have even reconciled that with against your cash journal, it's still showing as status in payment rather than paid. And because of that, there are still some lingering outstanding payments within the general ledger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a potential workaround. That being said, you'll see that we're looking at the Odoo documentations for Odoo 15. Now, it is currently June 2024. I believe the most up-to-date version of Odoo is currently Odoo 17, but uh, things change, as I'm about to illustrate for you. Uh, so if this is no longer working, then my apologies, uh, but hopefully they can add another workaround. So back in Odoo 15, they had recognized that it is possible to bypass the in-payment status for cash transactions, therefore removing the need to reconcile with a bank statement. Now, what that means specifically is that Odoo by default wants you, whenever you make a cash payment, to have a bank statement that you can reconcile those payments against. However, for smaller businesses, your cash payments may never touch your business checking account. It may be viewed separately. You may just have a coin purse set aside for your business, and you're never going to have that reflected in your bank statement. But you still need a way to get this vendor bill set to paid. So in order to do that, in the past, they had a bypass where you could set the outstanding receipts account and the outstanding payments account to the cash journal, which would automatically set it to status paid, and there would be no need to do a bank reconciliation. However, if we jump to the most recent documentation, one, you'll notice that there is no uh, entry for cash reconciliation anymore. Part of the reason is that they claim it's automatic, but Again, it's only automatic if you do the reconciliation that they, the way that they want you to. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to jump into the demo database over here, and we'll see that we have two bills to pay. And we're going to go ahead and just jump to the one here that's $34.50. That's, that's an easy amount of money to potentially pay out of pocket. And we're going to go ahead and click register payment. Now, if you're trying to follow along, you may come in here and scroll down and see that there are credit memo balances against which you could close this out for. Um, I went ahead and deleted those for the purpose of this demonstration, but if you get some problems following me along, that's probably why. Go to those vendor bills in this demo, not in your own system. Um, reset those uh, credit memos to drafts and delete them, and then you should be able to follow along with me uh, perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and register a payment. We're going to select the cash journal, and then all this other information should flow through automatically. Um, and we're going to go ahead and click create payment. And as I mentioned before, it's going to jump to status in payment. If we go ahead and maybe take a look at our general ledger, we will see that we have an outstanding payment of $34.50. The cash account is not showing that, however, and there is still, uh, in our accounts payable now, we have an extra entry for the payment in cash where we are debiting the accounts payable um, for that payment in cash against the original bill, the $34.50. Um, so the issue is that we still need a way to balance these out because the cash account is not showing that negative $34.50 hitting it. So if we come out here as well, we're going to see that there is the payments, $34.50. So in here, we need to also make another entry for our double entry bookkeeping against this in order to recognize that cash payment. So we can just type whatever the label you would like. We can even set it against the correct customer or partner and we can set that amount to negative $34.50. And we can save and close, and we will now have the option to reconcile one item. So we can come in here, and we should, if I move my head out of the way, 
uh, we should see that there is a vendor payment for $34.50. So now that we've matched those two against each other, we can validate the cash payment against the open balance that was in the accounts payable. So if we select validate now, and then I'm going to pause and go ahead and jump to the either the general ledger or the chart of accounts. All right, so now we're looking at our general ledger and it's going to look a little messy and please, by all means, if this is completely false and you're an accountant, please let me know, but this is how I was able to balance things out. But you'll see that you still have an outstanding payment of $34.50 in, uh, in your general ledger. Uh, conversely, though, you also have a uh, credit of $34.50 to your cash journal, which is what we had just entered and matched against uh, one of the payment entries. And then if we come into the accounts payable, you'll see as well that there is the initial bill value of $34.50. Uh, that's been debited once uh, against the bill payment, the cash payment and also debited again in the cash journal. And so as you can tell, if you counted those out, that is not balanced. And conversely, if we take a look at the bills themselves, you will see that this bill is still in status in payment. So what we need to do now is match the remaining aspects of that $34.50 payment by going to accounting, journal items, you can come up here to the search bar and select unreconciled to only show you the transactions that are unreconciled. And you'll see that the PCSH journal entry for the payment in cash is unreconciled, despite the fact that we know what it's for. Um, and then we also have this uh, cash journal uh, entry for the open balance cash payment. Uh, as you'll see, they're of the same amounts, but one is a debit and one is a credit. And we can go ahead and reconcile that. And once we've reconciled those, if we go ahead and look at the vendor bill, we will see that that bill is now in status paid and then cross our fingers. But if we go to the general ledger, we should see that the outstanding payments do in fact um, balance out to zero. Uh, the cash journal has a credit of $34.50, which has successfully deducted that from the total. And as much as it's kind of messy, you now have the $34.50 taken out of the accounts payable balance. It's completely balanced out. Uh, and the only accounts payable uh, value still in there is for the bill that still remains unpaid. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I had to struggle through with this to figure out how to do it. Uh, hopefully, Odoo may consider uh, reinstituting the cash bypass so that you don't have to do this. But uh, if you've struggled with this issue, please uh, let me know. If you have a better solution than the one I've shown you here today, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I'm still learning myself, but hopefully this manages to help some people. And uh, feel free to find me at etload.com. I'm always happy to uh, reach out and try and help folks where possible. Have a good day. Bye.